Okay, I'm back to keep going through box number four. So this is box number four, part two. And on my little break, I learned something. So this Glorian, uh, her signature, I have this wrong. It looked like B-L-U-T-T-M, but that T-T is an H because this other one is written out in it. So it's B-L-U-H-M. Glorian Bloom is her name. And these were done in 1976, Alan Ladd and... Elizabeth Scott. Um, Marilyn was a huge Alan Ladd fan and in fact wrote a book about him and his movie career. And so that certainly makes sense of why she would have these. Um, here are a whole bunch, a whole bunch of Jane Withers um, sheets. Who did, uh, who did these? Oh, Was this Satchel of Alley? I think so. Did these Jane Withers. He must have done them for, um, for a California paper doll party because Jane was a frequent guest and um, Satch used to go to the California events. So this box, um, we've gone through a lot of vintage uh, newspaper and magazine paper dolls and now we seem to be getting into some artist pieces. Who is this? Rhonda Fleming by, hmm, is it Raul? Maybe it, Raul Rodriguez. Uh, he pioneered the design of hundreds of magnificent awards, winning floats for the Tournament of Roses Parade. So, uh, this was done in 2000. I don't know anything about this. Maybe there was a paper doll event in California, Rhonda Fleming. Well, how nice. Rhonda signed this herself to Marilyn Rhonda Fleming. So... I met Rhonda at one of the events, but it was later in the 2000s, maybe 2007 or something like that. Um, here's Rhonda's filmography, a beautiful studio portrait of her, and then a biography of Raul Rodriguez. So this was clearly a souvenir for a California party. And then... More Jane Withers things. Is this the same stuff we just looked at? Yes. Marilyn, how nice to see you again. I'm thrilled with this wonderful paper doll, Jane Withers. So I'm pretty sure this is Satchel Valley did the art. It's a bummer that nobody did the, uh, the nobody included the name. So here is a paper doll by um, Jim Farone of Hollywood Canteen. Emmy, were you looking for this? Is this the one you wanted? No, it was a different one of uh, paper doll collectors, I believe. But this signed by Ann Rutherford. Um, not sure who that is. Jan Brown, Marilyn. No, oh, this is from Jane. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. I've never seen this. 1993, this happened. All the Way Dolls, 1919 Chicago Tribune. Oh, we saw some of these already, uh, Bride. But somebody did a fancy... Uh, cover design for this. It looks like they assembled them into a book, a large portfolio. Stenographer doll. Neato. She's the nurse. And then we have, who do we have here? A bathing girl. And this is, these are by Penny Ross, is the artist. 
Uh, she's a dancer. Oh, this looks kind of Halloween-y. Very fall colors. This is the mother, and then we have a school teacher. You know when these are dated? 1917. These are amazingly preserved for the teens. I'm, I'm amazed. Okay, a bundle of... Oh, just this must be miscellaneous newspaper stuff. Let's see. Brenda Star. Mopsy Nose. Brenda Star. I don't know if there's... I'm not seeing paper dolls here. They just look like the comics. A bunch of Brenda Star comics from, uh, what's the date here? 629, but of what year? I don't know. 19, hmm, uh, super tiny. 1973, maybe? I'm going to say 1973. So anyway, these are all Brenda Star comics, but I'm not seeing the paper dolls that go with this. 1976, that looks like. So I'm going to put these back together here. Bundle of comics. And here we have some Well, these are the actual Are these Brenda Star? Dale Messick. These are all sealed up. I don't Oh no, here they are. So these are oodles and oodles of um, paper dolls, Siberia, I don't know much about newspaper paper dolls as you can tell, but I'm guessing these are characters from the Brenda Star series, all as paper dolls in the little strips. So, this is nice black and white. Very nice. 1942. This is from the colors are really good that uh, for that era very nice colors so more Brenda stars wedding one. Oh, neato. Oh, oh yeah, here's one how with the uh, the paper doll and the comic put together and you can see that a lot of them were separated where we just had the strips of the paper doll by themselves and the comics comics separate and here they are all together so you can see how they appeared in the paper in this looks like 1948 so quite a few of these I'm going to put this put these back in their plastic later so that won't take too long Um, here's some, let's see, here are just some neat things from, uh,
from, I don't know which magazine this is. The Tidy Twinkle Tales, little squirrel family. It's the Adventures of the Grayfur family, and these are the neighbors. So, little red squirrels, I guess. I love this so much. Uh, the Delineator Sunshine House. Color copies of this. Wow, that is so cool. Hey, you know what? This is the back of what Marilyn wanted in the first place, which was, I'm sure, the three little pigs. I don't think it's the back page, though, is it? Page 13, 14. Mm, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wow, these houses are fantastic. I'm kind of obsessed with them. This is um, another nursery rhyme, Chicken chicken Lickin'. I haven't seen this one. The Old Woman and Her Pig. And these gorgeous, why did they put play pages back to back? More of these beautiful house scenes. Oh my goodness. I love this era so much. This is 1919. So charming. And here's one of the original pages. Yep, I'm seeing there's the house right on the back. So I like that. Oh, hey. I have not seen this. Happy Time Dolls and Dresses in their two-story dollhouse. As I said, Marilyn loved paper houses um, and pop-up books. Um, her more contemporary ones, I would guess that her sons have um, already gotten rid of in some other way. Um, but this is, this looks like it's ready to assemble. Already die cut. I don't know if I can pull this out without making a big ordeal here. <gasps> it's a story. It's dolls. Does it have paper doll clothes too? Yes. No, nope, more story. Yes, here's the paper doll outfits. This is in extraordinary condition. And I would think this would be an incredible item for the eBay auction. I don't know if I can determine the year of this. I don't know the publisher, pictures and stories. I don't see a publisher or a year. We'll have to do some investigating on this. Geez, Marilyn, this is a neato find. Um, yeah, on the back it just says made in the USA L1845. I don't know the publisher. Hillside Farm. This is an oversized book. I, you know, I think this feels like it's cut out on the inside, and I have this one myself in much better condition. I have a gorgeous copy of this, but this looks a little faded, and it feels like everything's cut out inside. That's just um, Dover reproduction, and here's the original Little Women. I think we found another one in one of the other boxes, but again, they've, they've all been partly cut. And here's the Shackman reproduction. And you know what? We found this in another box. I think this was in box number one. But I have to say, this one seems to be in better condition. The colors are way more vibrant. A uh, little bit of marking, but the, the covers are, um, well, it's kind of busted up there. But the, the colors are richer in this one. Here's the hairdo dolls from Shackman and Bruce Patrick Jones from 2007. The girl from Ipanema. I don't remember where the convention was in 2007. 
I was probably there, but I don't remember. What's this? Garden Fair Farm Play Set. This is from Current, 1978. Let's see what it looks like. Hey! Oh, It's a punch out. Oh, it wants to come out if I pick this up. Punch out farm pieces. Yeah, they're not very tight in their spots here, but this is a neat set. Paper. Uh, it's in, it's very interesting that Current would do something so big, and you wonder how they marketed this. Because uh, it's just in an envelope. You know, would you buy this at a store? Did you order it through the catalog? Victorian Albert Museum. Well, here's one of Marilyn's black and white pages. Museum of Costume. Black and white paper dolls. Large folio. Victorian Albert Museum from, I can't, I don't see a date on that. Oh, look. Coronation cutout. Coronation Cutout Storybook. Dean Dean Press. Is this the same Dean Press that Amanda Halley's husband owns? Could it be? It's got to be. Shout out, Amanda Halley. Um, this is all... They're not punch out, but they need to, be, to be cut out. It's all of the... Here's the horses, stands. Here's the story of the coronation. I don't know if there's a date. This paper's super duper thin. Hmm. Oh, there's no date. Dean and Son. Well, isn't that a nifty find? All right, this is another paper toy. Uh, Treasure House Imports, Seattle, Washington. So this looks like a whole town. Oh, here we are, Antique Village, copyright 1980. Uh, Antique Toy Village, so must be a set that appeared, uh, I would say, long ago and it's a reprint. I like that. That would be fun to put together. Um, I think that that's a foreign sheet. This is Shackman. Some Shackman sheets. Pet Gondre. Secret Garden. Pet Gondre. What's this? Victoria. My Paper Doll. Uh... I don't know about this. This is from 1989. Is there a doll in here? Doll house. Yeah, there's a paper doll in here. There's her clothes. It's nice and colorful. Here's the doll. And the rooms and clothes. Uh, Marks and Spencer from London. And did I find a date on this? 1989. And old Shackman sheet. This is a Shackman reproduction. And then just a couple of things left in this box. What's this? Oh, Evelyn Gathings. I'd like to do an article on uh, bird paper dolls and paper toys someday, so that would be a good one. This, this is just a portfolio of Helen Gathings um, art. There's more pages in this. I'm not sure what else is in there. And here's the last thing. What's this? This is Anne Rutherford. Who did this? I think. 
Did Marilyn do this? John Darcy Noble? No, these are just notes. Well, somebody made notes on this during a convention. How come they didn't put anybody's artist name on these souvenirs? Somebody's gonna know who did this right off. Let's look at the back of this portfolio. Maybe it will say something. No. Inside? No. I'm just not sure. Maybe somebody will tell me. Uh, so this was a fun find here in the very end of Anne Rutherford. And I hope you had fun going through this box. There's a lot of stuff in this box. So uh, I think it'll be a little while before I get to box number five because this is going to be a lot to deal with. So thanks for hunting through these boxes with me.